Hi everyone. In this mid journey tutorial, I am going to take a look at what effect, if any, does a photography style have when we add it into a prompt. I am using mid journey version 5.1, which is the default version right now. And for this particular experiment, I am using a prompt that will only have two words. So this is pretty much as minimal as it gets. Well, almost you could just do one word as well. Plus, then I'm going to add a photography style. And then for every single one of these, just for consistency purposes, I am going to add an aspect ratio parameter of a wide screen. And that is the 16 colon nine. The two words that I'm going to use in this prompt are event horizon just randomly pick something. And I thought maybe this is a cool kind of two word combo to experiment with. The first prompt is event horizon macro photography. And here are the results. I was so excited about these results. I cannot even tell you. I just wanted to keep running. I still do. I just want to keep going back to this prompt and just rerunning and rerunning and rerunning because these images are spectacular. They're just so amazing. And certainly something that I was not expecting at all. Macro event horizon doesn't seem to go together, but this is what we get. Look at this one. How fantastic. Just incredible. And another one. Next prompt is event horizon conceptual photography. Here, it seems like mid journey wants to add a person or, you know, person walking away from us, the viewer in each one of these prompts. And it's not to say that that's wrong or right or whatever, but it is good to think about, or these are just things that I kind of take note of and observe in case it's going to come handy later on when I'm prompting something or another. This one here is probably one of my the, maybe the most favorite one of this particular bunch of the conceptual photography ones. Next, we move to documentary photography. You can definitely tell that there is a different vibe for these ones. And I could consider at least what I would think potentially a documentary one looks like. So I could see these being the kind of things that I could imagine seeing. Nothing super exciting, but very interesting to see. This one is probably my favorite of the documentary ones. Next, long exposure. Now, these were not my favorites. They are just okay. I mean, maybe I'm getting too picky because the images that Mid Journey generates are so amazing. This one is my favorite of the long exposure ones. I think this is just super cool feels like I'm going warp speed in this one towards the event horizon, maybe. Next, I decided to venture out to street photography and not something that I would typically use with words event horizon, but I wanted to see what happens. Now, having said that, I also tried underwater photography, which did not work at all. So you do not see any of those images here at all. Some photo styles work better than others for sure. So it depends on what your other words are within the prompt. You know, kind of it's the deciding factor whether things to work or not, or, or whether things fall apart. And here, the interesting thing was that most of the images rendered were in black and white. This one, I love this image does not necessarily tell me it's about event horizon, but there's something about this image. I think it's one of the reasons why I love this so much that it is minimalist. And I am a super huge fan about minimalist photography or in general imagery. Then moving along to abstract photography. Here are the results. If you asked me, or if I tried to think about what I think about event horizon in my head. This is probably the closest thing that how I would imagine event horizon looking like. This one is completely different, um, but it's still, still super, super cool. 
and another completely different one. This one I like also because it's completely different and it's made out of these blocks and it just gives a completely different vibe as well. Moving along to dramatic photography. And I can definitely see that we are in more of this moody, dramatic vibe here. Again, we have a person here just taking note, observations. It's always good. You can maybe use them later on. Moving along to black and white photography. This one I like a lot. Completely different again. Not something that I would have expected. Next, let's see what happens if when we add astrophotography. Astrophotography produced and generated images that all had a sky and stars, which makes total sense, right? Now, what I didn't like about this astrophotography is that many of the images in the sky, they had this weird crack type of thing. I don't know if you've noticed that, but if you generate some images uh, about night sky and things and say Milky Way, then often it generates some kind of weird crack. Well, I call it a weird crack. I don't know if it really is, but and I don't like it personally. It's just a personal preference. So I wasn't super happy with these results. This particular one I do like, but I definitely had to run r uh, many more reruns of these ones versus some of the other ones to just get some images that were more to my liking. Again, very subjective, but you know. Now, cinematic photography is one of my favorites here. I think the two best styles for this particular two words, event horizon, are macro and this cinematic. Look at this one, it's spectacular. Um, there's a lot of detail here that you don't even see right off the bat, well, at least I didn't. Um, but once you look at it closer and longer, you can see more and more. So I really like this one. I can definitely tell that there's some cinematic type of effects over here or the vibe in general. This is super cool. I like this a lot. I don't know what these bumples are here, but I really like it. And this one is one of my most favorite images of this whole exploration. Please do let me know which ones you think are your favorites in the comments. And also if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer if I can. You can find the list of the photography styles in the description below. So feel free to take any of them and go on exploring. You can also find me on Twitter. Come hang out, say hi, and I look forward to seeing what you come up with.